on people this is a lonely pine bee farm here the other day i made a video on a swarm over here at miss beth lewis's place and um we had actually made arrangements to come back today and um do a couple of more splits on some of our hives and actually transfer some brew comb um because she's actually got brewed in some of her medium honey supers so she's wanting to switch over to uh deep boxes on her brew boxes so anyway but she called me this morning about i don't know about 30 minutes ago and said make sure you bring some equipment when you come because you got another swarm and and uh she told me that i could have them which i don't know if we'll take them or not you know but uh we're gonna make some videos and put together a video for y'all and kind of show y'all some of the things that we do during um swarm catches and like i said transferring medium frames the cone that's got the brood in it we're going to transfer that over to deep frames very easy to do it's you know a little messy sometimes but uh it just kind of gives the bees more room to to for the queen more room to lay you don't it don't take near as much of equipment to um, use deeps as your brood chambers and it does mediums. I know there's people out there that use mediums. I don't uh, as of right now, but I mean, there's, there's, there's really no difference between a deep and a medium other than the height. I mean, you're looking a couple of inches different. So, but anyway, y'all stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, it's Lonely Pine Bee Farm back again. This hive right here, I believe, I hadn't actually talked to her since I got over to her house. But this hive right here is actually the hive that I think swarmed. It's either going to be this one or that one. But as soon as I pulled in the driveway, I seen them. Didn't really even have to look. Well, I was looking, but didn't have to look hard. So, but here they are. Right here. As y'all can see, they're all clustered up in that limb. It's going to be a little aggravating just, just because I don't want to have to cut any of these limbs off. But we're going to, we're going to do our best to put these ladies... And the mama in a box and we're gonna make a new hive out of them so anyway y'all stay tuned all right we just got through grabbing a couple of handfuls of the bees off the limb and lay them on the box and as you can see what I done is I just kind of shook them give them a little shake but as you can see they're steady walking down that limb because the bees on top are actually fanning the pheromone, letting them know this is where we need to be. Let's see how close we can get. We gotta get a good, good bird's eye view. But you see them, they're steady walking down that limb. They're headed toward the box. So we're 100% certain we've got the queen down in that box. I got three frames of old brew comb in there, two empty frames on the side. And that's how we do it over here at Lonely Pine Bee Farm. All right, it's been a, it's been a long day. I know this video wasn't continuous, different scenes here and there, um, but we uh, we managed to uh, capture the swarm that was on the limb, as you saw at the first part of the video, and then we done one, two splits over here at her place. Um, we actually split that hive right there, which is that one right there and she's got one back there by the pond that we we done a split on and then we went over to another piece of property and uh where she's got a hive at another guy's place we split it um technically we didn't split it um we i think they done swarmed a lot of swarm cells in there um as we was going through the boxes to check we the way the bees, where the bees put the swarm cells was right at the bottom of the frames. And they were stuck to the top of the frames on the bottom box. So when we pulled the boxes apart, it just, it, it destroyed probably 75% of the 
cells that was in there. But what I did is uh, pulled a frame of um, brood that had some young larvae, possibly eggs. I don't, I don't, I didn't see no eggs in it, um, but it did have some one, two day old larvae in there. So uh, I pulled a frame and actually put it in one of my three frame boxes that I use for raising queens. And what I'm gonna do is I came back over here to her property and um, removed the fire frame that we had sitting on the ladder because we, we got some bad weather coming and I don't trust that, that that box is gonna stay up there. So I came and removed that one, taped it up. I've got it at the back of the truck, as you can see right here. It's all taped up. And I took the three frame mini nuke that I got and um, with the queen cell in it, well, there was a queen cell in there, but it got damaged. And I, I think it's going to be, I, I don't think it's going to make it. But anyway, I pulled a frame of uh, one, two day old larvae out of that first hive. But I'm pretty sure the queen's done swarmed in that one and put it in this three frame. And I came back over here, took the five frame down and I actually took the three frame because there's still a lot of forager bees out put it up in, 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 in the tree where it was at, took the ladder down, and got it strapped into the tree to where it can't go nowhere. So basically what I'm gonna do is use the forager bees from the swarm that we caught in the five frame to increase the population because basically all I done was pulled one frame that had young one, two day old larvae out with bees on it. Um, so I'm gonna use them forager bees to increase the population of that three frame. Um, and then later on this evening when it gets dark, I'm going to come back over here when all the bees are inside and tape it up and bring it home, bring it to the house. And then, uh, the next good, good day I got, I'm going to open up my strongest hive I got, take a couple of frames out, shake some bees in there because, and I'm hoping to do it tomorrow. It's, they're talking about bad weather, but I'm going to try to do it tomorrow if I can, because with one or two day old larvae, you need a lot of bees, um, especially, you know, an emergency, because basically what it is, is they're gonna make an emergency queen cell. So you need a lot of bees to be able to do what it takes to make a good quality queen when you, when you make that type of queen cell. So just keep in mind, the, in my opinion, the swarm cells are the best because of the fact that the bees know that they're wanting to swarm so they're focusing most of their energy on making them queens they want good queens um so they can reproduce uh an emergency queen um i, I look at a superseder queen and a swarm queen i look at them as the same an emergency queen is when something happens to the queen either she's been taken away she dies whatever she's no longer there the bees go into panic panic mode and they, you know, in my opinion, the, the queens are not as good. They're still good queens, don't get me wrong, but they're not as good as a swarm queen. So you need a massive amount of bees, plenty of food. Um, like I said, they've got a whole frame of honey and pollen in there. They've got an empty frame, and then they've got a frame that's got the um, the eggs and larvae on it. So but like I said, we're going to use these uh, forager bees to boost the hive, boost that little three frame up, give them plenty of bees in there. Um, and then like I said tomorrow, I'm gonna pull a frame from one of my hives. It's a little bit too late now um, Pull a frame from one of my hives and shake a bunch of bees in that way. We get a good quality queen All of her hives that I've seen over here Were very healthy bees. I mean, they're just they were gentle. I mean, yeah, we I wore my suit um, Because one of her hives was was, was kind of mean so we, we did wear suits, but good queens I mean good bees can't ask for no better um so anyway, like I said, I didn't mean to, to make this video into two or three different sections. I know one part of it, you're going to see this. It's going to jump to that. But um, I don't have a cameraman. I don't use tripods. Um, and to be able to do what I need to do to get over here and get this job done, and uh, I can't sit here and hold a camera. So um, one of these days, we'll, we'll, we'll get to making some better videos. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try to start making better videos for you where you can understand a little bit more in detail. Um, what we do and how I do it. Like I said, I'm actually going to 
um, flip the camera around here just in a second. I want to show you. You've seen the first part of video five frame, me, me putting the bees into the box. Now I'm going to show you what I'm talking about by me moving the five frame and putting the little three frame in its place um, and using forager bees to boost it. So anyway, going to, we're going to split here, show that part, and that's going to be the end of the video, people. Uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, any questions that you know I can answer, feel free to comment below. Um, like my videos if you like them. Thumbs down if you don't. Um, you know, subscribe. Talk. You know, talk to your friends. Say, hey, this this guy's learning like we are. You know, he's got some good ideas, and, and that's what I try to do. I try to come up with ideas that that the everyday person makes it easier for. Because you know, the commercial beekeepers they're out there, you know, making these videos, and they make it look so easy because of the fact of the way they do theirs. And you know, on a smaller scale, it's a little bit different. So. But anyway, you know, like and subscribe. I, you know, be nice if you would. If you're not, it ain't no big deal. Um, this is not what this channel's about. It's about me learning and possibly teaching other people new ways of doing videos. So appreciate you watching. Um, this is Lonely Pine Bee Farm, and uh, we're gonna be out. God bless.